do. do. Lower to the grave, tell you like it is to your face. She don't play. play. Every chick down for it all, know that she a boss. She a boss. No competition, no loss. From the Midwest to the A, all them got you tuning in, no delay. Ooh, get you right every time. Keep you laughing on a dime. Tell you truth, no lies. So you can live your best life. Cover all topics, no limits. Got some for your mama and your children, no holding back. No gimmicks, coming on strong, get straight to business. Oh, yeah. What she wanna do? Lit life, lit life. Hey, it's your girl Autumn, and I welcome you back to the Lit Life Podcast, where I encourage you to live your life autonomously. What's up, gang gang? What it do? What's happening? I hope y'all have had um, a good, what's it been, two weeks? Hope y'all have had, oh, hey, that's two weeks is better than like two months, because, you know, I come up missing. But I feel like I have so much to say, and I wish that I could... Uh, be disciplined enough to just like take like four hours or something on the weekend and just record like several episodes because that would be ideal for me like I have so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try maybe not this weekend maybe not this weekend y'all but at any rate hopefully you guys are doing well um here in Georgia you guys know that the you know we we had a little uh taste of what like a little bit of like spring weather for a minute I mean you know the weather in Georgia is pretty mild right like it's not it's not like you're not gonna get a whole lot of like super cold and you know what I mean like it, we don't really get we get winter but it's not like you know where I'm from winter which is Ohio but so it's been pretty mild like throughout the winter it's been pretty mild but a couple of weeks ago like we had some we had some beautiful weather like the weather was freaking fantastic it was like 75 degrees and the breeze and sun was high in the sky and you know the of course with that the pollen which was the worst but it was really great. And then this last week, it's been kind of cold and dreary and wet. So hopefully, I'm hoping that it like, you know, we're, we're getting a little bit closer to that stable uh, 75 degree weather because that's what a real one need. You understand what I'm saying? Um, what else been going on with me the last two weeks? Not much. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my uh, folks on tag, my folks on tag, you know, I, you guys know I live stream there just about every day. Um, if you have the app, feel free to come see me. My name is Autumn the Aries on there as well. Um, don't come over there being weird. And if you're on here listening from tag and you're a weird, a weirdo, please stop being weird. Like, you know, like if you live, if you're listening to this podcast, just because you're on some weird shit, like don't do that. But uh that's been fun um i think let's see um what's going on on there uh truckers luck uh granny is doing truckers luck on march 17th which uh will probably be the day that this comes out uh also march 17th is my 12th is it 12 what year is this 22 yeah my 12th uh uh sigma versary so I've been a member of Sigma Gamma Rho for 12 years on uh, March 17th, which is, you know, fantastic. Every year I'd be like, let me go ahead and pay these dues. And then I just don't. And I'm going to do it this year, though. I want y'all to hold me accountable because uh, I do. I I am ready to get back active because I told y'all last uh, on the last episode, I'm back on my bullshit. I told y'all that y'all remember I'm not lying about it like I am back on the BS um birthday coming up so you know airy airy season on the way we rolling in hot heavy and motherfucking fiery feisty whatever the hell you want to say that's how we coming in so you already know how that go and what that do as well um, I am going, to, I don't know if I told y'all this, uh, I'm going to the motherfucking Mile High 420 Festival in Denver, Colorado. 
in on 420. That's my birthday trip. Y'all know I be trying to do a little birthday trip every year or whatever. I went on ahead and planned this shit just like I do any other time. Just planned it by myself. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking about it. Folks like, oh, shit, we going to meet you there. It's gonna, I'm gonna, We going to be up there. Da, da, da. So I probably won't be by myself. But uh, I'm looking forward to having a good time. They just released the lineup and um, notable uh, Rick Ross is going to be the headliner. Um, the guy from one of the guys from Cheech and Chong, I think it's Chong, is going to be the um, MC for the event because it's like a music festival, y'all. It's like a music. It's basically a music festival, but you know, for the stoners, I guess. I don't know. And then uh, Waka Flocka going to be there. I got VIP tickets. That the concert is actually free. Like the festival is actually free. And the VIP tickets were not expensive. They were like they were like $180 or something like that. And you get access to like a certain part of the, you know, certain part of the uh, area to watch the stage from, you know, a different area, whatever. And, you know, you get, you know, different bathrooms and goodies and and my thing is i'm gonna have all this shit and i'm not even gonna be able to bring it home like people are like just mail it to yourself and i'm like bro i me myself i am afraid okay i am afraid sorry if y'all if y'all watching this on youtube i'm looking away because i'm over here looking at shit at work because i said i'm gonna go ahead and record this now wow i'm on the clock because this is what i feel like doing but anyways um because if i wait till later y'all i it's just not gonna happen like i'll be trying y'all know i don't know if y'all know this i work west coast hours so i don't get off of work until like between seven and eight o'clock and i be be i be ready to be done with it but anyways back to what i was saying um yes I, like people are like just mail it to yourself i'm like shit like i'm scared niggas like I'm a scaredy cat. Now, if somebody there wants to mail it to me, like I let them mail it to me, and if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I'm I'm afraid. You know what I'm saying? So I know already know I'm only gonna be there. Uh, what four days? I'm not gonna be there long enough to like ingest every single thing that I get. I already know, so I'm already gonna be irritated about that. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a good time. I hope I get to meet Waka Flocka. Like, I love him. A couple of songs by him, I guess. You know, I like Ricky Rose too. And I think I've seen both of them. There's somebody else going to be there. I don't know her. Uh, let me see if I can find a, Um, Let me see if I can find it real quick and I'll tell y'all. Uh, my bad. Y'all know I ain't never motherfucking prepared. Ever. Right. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay. It's gonna be. Come on, load. Why is it taking? Okay. So boom. Ricky Rose gonna be there. Um Fabio Forn. Not really. Um, not really sure who that is. Waka Flocka. Um Kosh Page. I feel like I've heard her name, but I'm honestly, I'm not really familiar with who she is. Uh, the Alchemist. I've heard that name as well. Um, and it says and more, but on the actual like on Instagram, it shows all of who is what's going to be there. Who's going to be there. And I don't know why it's not showing me here. Let me see one more thing. See if I can figure it out real quick. Nope, it ain't. Let me see. I don't want no music to start playing. Um, okay, anyways, whatever. Y'all got the drift. Um, so yeah, I'm excited that like I said, the lineup just came out yesterday. And I was like, okay, bet. Like that sound like it's gonna be pretty lit. I got a hotel that's like three blocks down the street. Um, was able to use my good old little Hilton points to get one of the nights free. So, um, I'm excited y'all. Like I've, I've always wanted to go to, to Colorado. I don't know why. I don't know why that's been a big deal. So now I get the chance to go and I'm excited about it. So anyway, enough about me. Kind of. Wow. 
All right. It's everybody's favorite part of the show. It's the Shut the Fuck Up Award. If you are new to the show, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. But for those who don't know, the Shut the Fuck Up Award is an award that you can give a person, uh, an organization, a government entity, a group of folks, whoever the hell you want to tell, corporations, whatever, whoever you want to tell to shut the fuck up, this is the place to do it. And I figured that this shut the fuck up is going to really like, it's really going to segue very swiftly and easily into story time because that's really what this is this is about to be story time y'all and y'all gonna be like (laughs) are you fucking great are you fucking serious (laughs) i'm laughing about it now but anyways let's get to this shut the fuck up so if you are on twitter it's probably it's probably didn't got the facebook by now because you know facebook you know it'd be a couple of days or whatever what have you before you get to facebook but if you have been on Twitter over the last few days, um, you'll see, you know that there has been a a back and forth about a, a black therapist, a black woman therapist who said that she was no longer taking male clients for whatever reasons she listed. I don't even remember. Okay, so like, I mean, like Twitter erupted over this. Like, I mean, they really just it was so like, like this lady didn't got death threats. And like, I mean, she didn't call been called every name in a book. Like, I mean, it's just been like so terrible. And the crazy thing is it's been all by men. And it's just like, I'm not that person that subscribes to you know, you know, all men ain't shit and niggas ain't shit and all that. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say these things. I'll talk to my friends and I'll be like, man, these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll, I'll do that, but I'm not the one that'll be like, just get on Twitter or, or social media and be like, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure you guys have never seen me do that. Now I'll be close some days. Some days I'll be close, but I don't really like I because that's something that I don't want to believe. That's something that I don't really want to ingest. So I don't do it. Right. So, but, but, but here we are. So because of that conversation, a lot of other conversations have come up. Okay. Like, a lot, like a lot, probably hundreds have, have spawned from that very conversation. So there's a a girl that was on Twitter, another girl that was on Twitter that tweeted, she didn't even like, she didn't like tag it to, you know, the therapy conversation or anything like that. This was a tweet of her own. And she said, wait until the men find out that there are waxers, only wax uh, who there are waxers who only wax women and don't see male clients because, and then it says, guess why? She said, I really want y'all to guess why this might be a thing. So she's talking about waxing, like, like, you know, waxing, like face waxing or underarms or bikini wax or Brazilian wax or whatever. Right. So this brought to light that First of all, there's a lot of men that get waxed. There are a whole lot of men that get waxed, like like Brazilian wax, like ass crack, and you know, which hey, do you do? I've never, me personally, I hear I'm about to tell my business. I've never had a wax, okay? Like I, you know, and the, the crazy thing is, like I, I can tolerate pain, like. Sometimes I like pain, but that pain, I don't think I really like I, that type of pain. I'm not, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be okay with that type of pain. So I don't know if I'm ever going to get a wax, but whatever. So after going through this thread and, and, and just reading the amount of professions or professionals who work directly with you know like you know to work directly with people 
and all of the disgusting things that they've said, like somebody even said something about like, you know, the, like there's morgues and, and f- that don't hire men sometimes because they be in there getting to the courts. Like, I mean, like it's just so many things. Like it's just, it's so much horny. It's so much horny. Like it, it really proves a lot of what, what people have been saying for a long time, which is like, you know, again, I don't want to say all men, but like a whole lot of men are not able to control themselves and control their, control their urges and things of that nature. Um, uh, when it comes to them being aroused, like they just can't like, and I don't know, I'm not a man. I don't know. Like, Sometimes I'd be like, what if I had a dick for a day? Like, those are the type of things I would wonder. Like, would I be able to just, like, see, you know, look at somebody and not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm I'm getting too far off the subject. So, because I ain't even got to the award yet, right? So, this guy, and I'm going to just go ahead and say his motherfucking name because fuck him. Like, if y'all want to go, make sure y'all ain't following him or block this and he go, whatever. Bobby J online. That's his, that's his, uh, his, uh, name or whatever on Twitter. So he decided to jump his crusty ass in the comments and say, This whole thread is made up of stories by undesirable attention seeking women who want to fit in with the cool crowd. So somebody else was like, well, just say you're one of these gross weirdos and go. And he said, just say you're an attention whore and stay here for the rest of the attention. Like. What? What? Like. I don't even know who this is. He says he's an actor, writer, film director. He has 31,000 followers. Um, Lots of people follow him. D-Nice, Lil Rail, Ayana Van Zandt. It's a lot of people that follow him. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just like, like, nigga, you're one of them. Like, shut the fuck up up like shut the fuck up like how dare you now since he said that let let me let me read to you one read to you guys one of the tweets this is the one that really got me okay and it's actually a reddit it's it's a screenshot from reddit so and it's about a uh a person uh a person who has a small a beauty business and they do skincare and you know hair care lash care uh whatever all types of stuff waxing all that type of stuff so they say basically that you know it says over the past 10 10ish years we've had an influx of men especially around the last 5 years and i would say 85 to 90 percent of those clients have sexually assaulted or sexually harassed my female staff to the point that the great majority of my staff have refused to service any male clients that requires work around their buttocks or genital area. Up until last month, myself and one one other female employee were the only ones to still provide blow below the waist care to male clients. During that time period, we had five men verbally harass, make lewd remarks, grope us, or directly ejaculate. That's the part that got me. Let me start over. During that time period, she said up until last month. So this was like a month, okay? Or less. During that time period, we had five different men verbally harass, make lewd remarks, grope us, or directly ejaculate on us or near us while we were providing waxing, ingrown hair removal, and treatment of problem skin in the groin area. We have had we have also had an influx of men in the past four to five years. 
uh, what uh, the past four to five years pretending to inquire about our services only to send us pictures of their visibly aroused genitalia or their anus. I'm gonna tell y'all what. I'm gonna let me so let me just put this out here. I know we can't, I know it's, it's tough for us to say stuff like if this was me, da, 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 you know, cause you never really know, but no nigga on everything I love and own a nigga dick would have just been broke. You just gonna like, you gonna do what you gonna do? You did what? You did what? I remember vaguely remember seeing a video uh going around on Twitter of um a class uh, uh it was like a class of estheticians or something like that and they were you know watching someone um, a man getting waxed. It was maybe you know four or five people in the room or whatever and he literally ejaculated. Like somebody put it on Twitter to kind of like say this is the type of stuff that be going that's what it made me think about when I read the story like it's like it's it makes me it's so uncomfortable guys it's so like that uh, and here's the thing and somebody also mentioned like and the crazy thing and this was a guy who mentioned this he's like the crazy thing is there's places that you can go to get tantric massage or t or tantric type of uh of or or intimate low key type of services like that you know you're paying for which you're going to pay for you know when you go and just randomly nut on the fucking esthetician but you know what i'm saying you're paying for these services they're not necessarily an exchange of like sex, but you're you're paying for these erotic experiences, but they don't want to do that. And the reason why is control. It's control. It's it's power. It's the um the 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 fact that there's no consent. It's like they're they're just doing this. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna do this no matter whether you want me to or not. Right. Unfortunately, that's that's basically what it is. Now, y'all know, you know, I done dipped and dabbled into some shit. So I know, you know, what I, I know about all these kinks and all these fetishes and, you know, all this different shit. But I also know that consent is a thing. Consent is a fucking thing. And so, but some people can't really, like, it's that even if it's like a consent, non-consent situation, like at any moment, like if you've talked to somebody and they're like, oh, I like, you know, I like doing this type of stuff is that okay with you, but I want to do it without like having to talk to you about it, like right, right when I'm about to do it. Like people do that, but that's not enough for them. You see what I'm saying? Because there's no control in that. There's no anything in that. So anyways, that brings me to my story, okay? This literally happened like two, maybe three weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I'm thinking. My, y'all, this shit is just so fucking wild and crazy. My um, 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 pedicure lady, right? I still, I still drive 45 minutes over to where I used to live to go to this sh shop to get my feet done because like finding somebody to like do a pedicure the way that you really love it is like hell, right? So I've been going to the same lady for like three, four years, something like that. So she had went on vacation, okay? She was gone for like a month because she had went back home wherever the hell that was. And I'm so excited. She's back. You know, I make an appointment. I'm like, oh, about to get these feet together, whatever, what have you. Now, I don't know about anybody else but when i go to get a pedicure it's really like that's what re it's a relaxing time for me i stopped getting my nails done because they like to do both at the same time and it's just even though 
I don't want really wouldn't really want to be in there an extra 45 minutes to get my nails done, which is another part of the problem. I also don't want them doing my nails while they're doing my feet because they're interrupting my spa time. You see what I'm saying? So I just stopped getting my nails done. I, so literally when I go to get my feet done, I know this lady is going to do a great job. I just I'm there and I'm going to relax. OK. Getting a, getting a seat, get settled. Like there was nobody on either side of me when I sat down. Um, and you know, I'm just, you know, getting into it. So I must have, I must have dozed off, right? I must have dozed off. And you know how sometimes you doze off and you like if you're in a chair, you doze off and then you kind of like you wake up and then you kind of like reposition yourself. So I did that. So I, I woke up looked around a little bit, tried to, you know, scoot up, reposition myself, turn the little massager thing back on my back, you know, all that. And I looked to the left of me. And like I said, the seat next to me was open, but the seat next to that one, there was a, a man sitting there. So he was a handsome guy. He was probably mid fifties, early to mid fifties, tall, um, you know, average looking guy, whatever, you know, average, handsome looking guy, whatever clean cut, whatever. And I, th I thought I kind of saw him looking my way, but then I was like, eh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, eh, all right, whatever. So something just tells me to like do it again. You know what I mean? Like four or five minutes later to just kind of glance over there and so at this point in, in the pedicure, like the lady is, I get like this, this, uh, this, they put that, that sugar scrub or whatever on. So she's doing the sugar scrub on my calves and, you know, the heels of my feet and my toes. And she's like going all through my toes and stuff like that. And it's like amazing. It's like this is such an amazing massage, right? I'm so fucking happy. And I just got decided to glance over there. Y'all, if you can see me on, on Spotify or YouTube or whatever, look, this man was over there like this. Mouth wide open, tongue hanging out, low key. Uh, I'm like, is he drooling? Like, what? And, and again, I'm in disbelief. I don't know why I'm in disbelief, but I'm in disbelief because I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This can't, this is not happening. So, boom, I looked again. And so that time it caught his eye and I looked at him like, like, really? Like, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of turned away a little bit or whatever. And so now I'm pissed off. Okay. I'm pissed off. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to say something to him without, tearing up the fucking salon because that's what I, I felt like I felt like I was about to call him all type of bitches and hoes and all of this like I felt like it was really about to be one of those situations where it was going to be recorded and it was going to be all over like Twitter and TikTok and I just didn't want that also I don't want to get kicked out forever of my fucking favorite place pedicure place right so i'm calculating in my head what it is i need to do so i'm like okay boom now first before i go any further i know people are like well he's just looking at you or like he can see your feet you know like whatever yes you're you are correct he could see my feet, like if when I, if I got my feet done and I'm like at a music festival or i'm outside with some flip flops on or whatever what have you he could definitely see my feet but what he's doing is literally paying to get, because he was getting his feet done too, paying to get his feet done to gawk at women getting their feet done, making women uncomfortable, because I'm positive this wasn't the first time he's done this, making women uncomfortable while we're trying just over here minding our fucking business like feet are the new titties i've i've said this so many times feet are the new 
titties. I don't, and I, and again, boom, I don't care. Like if that's what the, if that's what you own, if that's what you're on, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I really don't. I'm not going to be judgmental about that. Like everybody has something different that, you know, that really just shakes them. Like I have people who gawk over my hair. I have people who gawk over my skin. I've had people gawk over my feet, like over my ass that continues to keep growing. And because I keep eating, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't care. Like, my thing is, don't make me uncomfortable. Because this is a kink for you or a fetish for you. Like, don't make me uncomfortable. I didn't, I'm not, I'm not consenting to that. Okay. So anyways, I made up in my mind. I said, okay. I said, my, so by this time she's washing all the stuff off or whatever. And she was, you know, polishing my toes and stuff. And like, he's still there. I think he was like a little bit behind me. He wasn't, he didn't get any polish or anything, but he was like a little bit behind me. Right. So I'm getting the polish and I get gel polish. So it, it dries really fast. And I'm like, soon as I get up, I'm going to just go up here and I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to catch him up here. I'm going to catch him, like, outside. Catch me outside, right? I'm going to catch this nigga outside, and I'm really going to let him have it. Like, I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to. I wasn't. At that point, I was, wasn't even going to call him out of his name unless he said something. But I was definitely going to be like, hey, bro, the shit you did in there was not cool. But let me tell y'all what he did. He peeps that. I, my pedicure is almost done. And he pulls his uh, credit card out and was like, here, here, like shoving it. He wasn't even like done, y'all. Like they weren't even done doing what they were going to do. And he's like shoving it at the lady like, here, here, oh, oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm late or something like that. I'm running behind or something like that. And so she was like, basically said, you pay up there. You know, she's like pointing like you pay up there. So he's, she's drying, drying them off or whatever. And he goes up and I, I'm still got a little bit of time, right? I'm like, oh, let her hurry up. So I'm putting, finally putting my stuff on y'all. By the time I got up to pay, y'all remember on Friday when old boy was like, my grandma bought me that chain and he ran in the house, how he ran in the house. That's how this nigga was running. He literally skedaddled out the door across the parking lot he was parked in the first spot in in front of the nail shop hopped in a fucking range rover and when i say he skirted off like you heard tires skirt like everybody looked around because did he know he was wrong did he know he was wrong y'all yo listen Feet are the new titties. I know this. But come on, man. Come on, bro. Come the fuck on. Y'all, I just, I can't even like, I was so heated. I was so heated. Like, it, it made me even more mad that you ran. Because you knew I was about to say something to you. Like, it's like he felt it. It's like he he was just like, man, let me get out of here. Because I, yo, I, and again, at first I wanted to call him all type of bitches and hoes. But I said when I talked to him, I wasn't going to call him all type of bitches and hoes unless he had, like, jumped to it. And then when he skirted off in that car, I definitely really wanted to call him all type of bitches and hoes. Like, how fucking dare you? So... This is the type of shit women be having. Yeah, guys, if you if you're if you're a good guy, continue to be a good guy, and like continue to educate. I, I be feeling like I don't even know if any education is gonna help. So let me just shut up and just say, continue to be a good guy, and hopefully, like 
they'll people you'll rub off on people because when women when women start expressing their frustrations about men like the shit is real and i understand that you know women uh, you know women ain't perfect either like i understand that and 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 expect us to be accountable when we are trash as well but man it'd be a whole lot of shit going on a whole lot of shit that a whole lot of women don't even talk about but that whole therapy thing that shit just it went left it went 100 percent left and now there's a whole fucking thread or or many probably that i haven't seen of just disgusting things that have happened to women without their consent do better do fucking better um so that's it you know what i'm saying like i i appreciate y'all tuning in um i hope that you guys are enjoying seeing me back um i you know i've been having some some emotional uh, up and downs and you know tr still 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 trying to get back to myself like i said in the last episode we are not the same i, I know i'm not um so i'm still trying to climb back to a comfortable me so i hope that you guys um appreciate what I do put out and anticipate what I'm going to put out. Uh, do we have anything coming up? I don't know. Uh, haven't, haven't made it, ha done anything with the podcast, happy hour girls, but hopefully we'll have something for you guys in the next few months. Um, I'm probably forgetting some, but it is what it is. So, Hey, Hey, until you see me or hear me again, Peace.